Reggie, do you believe that having doubles or even triples <laughs> of a game of a game is a hoarding or an addiction? Um, well, geez, I mean, it depends on what you think about that stuff. I mean, um, I first f way it started with me, you know, um, I like I started collecting variants and everything mm -hmm. of certain games. Um, I just like, like say for instance, like something like Dino Crisis, you know, had a, two different variant covers and everything like that. I really liked that game. So right. I wanted both copies, uh, something like Hunting Ground. Um, uh, I picked that, I picked up extra copies of those, um, because I really like those games as well. But at the same time, um, I feel like, um, you can use them to barter pretty much, you know, if there's something else you want, then if you have an extra copy of that that somebody really wants, then you can use that for to get that you know uh, i actually had three copies of hunting ground uh, now i only have two but the other one was sold because i found something i wanted and that helped me achieve that without having to spend any money for it so you know that was a good deal for me but as far as like um if you consider it hoarding or whatever like that i'm pretty sure the company's made more than one so <laughs> <laughs> you know the original hoarders so, right you know um but you know, it's just it. It really depends on what you what you want and what you get. I mean, now you we're gonna go back to my. Uh, I did a video uh, called "Gaming Obsessions" called with my PS One monitors. Yeah. Uh, you know, and why I collected those. You know, one of the reasons I collected those because obviously I really liked them, but I liked the different variants of them out there, and I was looking for them. Mm -hmm. And I started with those because when I was in AIT training, you know, we got a little bit of free time. You know, they didn't give me my buff one pass or what's the buff? They had passes where you could go off base and like go out for the night and everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my pass right away. So I needed some entertainment while I was in the barracks and going downstairs, you know, in the day room, you, everybody's sharing the same television. So, you know, it's like, you know, watching some corny movie or whatnot, everybody arguing and stuff. So right. I wanted to be away from that stuff. So I had my PS1 screen. I had my PS1, had my Mega Man Legends 2, Mega Man X5. And I was having a great time. And everybody's like, man, Reggie, why don't Reggie ever want to come down here? He's good to go because mm -hmm. I was playing that game in my room. So um, that's where that love came from, you know, for that, you know. But um, it's just really cool seeing the different variants of those out there, those monitors out there, because it's like uh, they made some really, of course, they made some really crappy runs at first, and they, eventually they got better. And when I was in uh, Korea, uh, when I used to do, like, duty at CQ, because that was a 24-hour duty, you know, um, we we couldn't leave that area, so to have that monitor there and be able to like play a game and everything or watch a movie or whatnot because mm -hmm. my PS One could play movies because I got a chip to where it could play VCD, so you could watch movies on it and everything like that. But I don't know, it was, it was just my thing, you know. I liked it, you know. I'm not hurting anybody, so you know, I feel like it was it's okay. I don't think it's a session. I don't think there's anything wrong with it unless you're hurting yourself. I say people collect what they like, mm -hmm. and sometimes you may like the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, there's people that collect handhelds. Uh, I collect Game Boys mm -hmm. and I mod Game Boys and I, I really enjoy that. And when I find one, I'm like, cool, let me clean it off and take care of it. <laughs> and it's like, do you need just one? Yeah, you just need one. Yeah. But sometimes you like want to have a bunch cause they look cool. Um, I love Gran Turismo 4. Right. So I have Gran Turismo 4 in every single language it came out in. Because I just love it, and the cover's different. It's you know just everything is different about it, and so that's why I have it. I don't see anything wrong. I don't think it's hoarding at all whatsoever. Listen, if you if you want to be hi, I'm I'm John the Immortal here, and mm -hmm. uh, I love Coleco Visions <laughs> and Greatest Hits. You can do that. Yeah. You can do that. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know, and just going back to the the video I did about gaming obsessions. You mm -hmm. know, I just did it as like nonchalant, like you know, jokingly and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like. If you see it out there and you want to buy it, go for it. Yeah, you know I mean? it's your money. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you're not hurting anybody in the thing. Another thing about those monitors, too, you never know if they're going to go out or not. So you'll have a backup monitor or whatever. You'll be good to go. Right. Or if you want to mod it to something else or right. mount it or do all kinds of stuff with it. You have extras. I also think that, uh, okay, so if it wasn't, let's say, let, let's take it like a high price ticket item. Yeah. Let's say it was not um, video games. So I have certain friends that collect Porsches. Like they have multiple Porsches. Mm -hmm. Like they have like eight to about 15 Porsches. Okay. And it's like, you can only drive one at a time. Okay. And some of these, they don't drive. It's a conversation piece. 
but they're not hoarding them. They just appreciate a certain thing. Right. You know, when I see two haunting grounds in front of me, it's like, obviously, you like this game and it came across to you. Uh, the other thing you're talking about, I think you're perfectly right. Sometimes you see a good deal on something mm -hmm. and you say, oh, I'm going to use this for this later. Yeah, and just going back to Honey, it really came through for me having an extra copy because this game is being sought after. You know, mm -hmm. people really want it. So I was able to sell this and get this other item, which I call my Holy Grail item, which we'll probably talk about later. <laughs> um, but, you know, Hunting Ground is definitely one of my favorite survival horror games of all time. And just going back to Capcom was supposed to actually re-release it uh, as a great uh, as on the PS3 uh, network where they, they got the rights for it. I mean, well, they had the rights for it. They were, had it ready to go and it never did. Mm. So it hasn't been re-released yet so that makes it more sought after now I, I i don't want that i want them to actually want more people to play it so i have more people to talk about it with because a lot of people still don't even know about this game. i, I don't know about this game um, all, all i see is like a uh, chick with blue eyes and doggo on the front well it's one i'm like I, I look at this and i'm like is this silent hill meets uh what what is it Ico? uh Ico is, yeah. is that the one with the dog no Ico is the one with the uh What's oh, the, what's the one with the dog? It starts with an O or something? Okami. 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 Yeah, yeah, I was like, is this Okami and Silent Hill combined? No. I, Brought okay, to you I'll by you, Capcom? I'll give you an example of that game. So basically <laughs> okay. what it is, it's been hinted that it was actually supposed to be Clock Tower 4. Okay. Um, but eventually it was... The style makes sense now. Clock Tower 3 didn't sell as well as they wanted to. So mm -hmm. they said, okay, well, let's change the name and then, you know, and start giving it a new name. They gave it a dumb name. It was, was Demento in Japan or something like that. Then Hunting Ground in America, which honestly aren't great names are catchy names or mm -hmm. whatever but um what happened what in what well just to go into the gameplay um it's one of the first games i ever seen that doesn't load it loads in the beginning and the rest of the game just seems off the disc well, it's not seems it streams off the disc pretty much that's cool and um it, it really plays really well um but a lot of people never paid attention to it so it didn't sell well you know what happens when you don't buy games they don't make more copies of them and yeah. then you get stuck so now people are appreciating it years later but mm -hmm. they're not being sold in retail stores anymore so when it comes to these uh like people going after doubles or triples or whatever you want to call it right um i think of a good friend of ours that has a complete sega saturn collection Ugh. and <laughs> <laughs> and he's on the verge of getting a second complete uh sega saturn collection yeah. I feel, my opinion, my opinion, grown-ass man having his own opinion, mm -hmm. I feel he just knows how to hunt for that type of he, of game, mm -hmm. and so he knows where to go for that game. And over the and, and this isn't something that he started a year ago, and now he has everything, and there it is. No, this has been a long time coming, so I think he just loves a system that he knows how to collect for it. Yeah, he got a complete Sacred Saturn collection, which was pretty awesome, and then he eventually decided he wanted to sell it, you know, and mm -hmm. get something yeah. else. And people were upset with him about that, but they had to understand that's his money. That's he, that's him doing it. Yeah. You don't have to worry about what other people do or get upset at them. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. But uh, people do it anyway. So it's like, yeah. okay. You don't worry about what other people have in there. Their their five hunting grounds. <laughs> their collection. Right there, behind yeah. me. Yeah. You know. But Lord, heaven forbid, he loses his six uh, ghost squads. No. <laughs> <laughs> But it, like I said, man, uh, all these all these games that I have doubles of, they're mm. games I really like. So, yeah. um, and most of them, I, I feel like they're mostly variants too. So they're somewhat different with the cover. But what but, is what? And this will be the last question. What is one game that really doesn't have any value, but you still collect it? Is it the Ghost Squad? It is Ghost Squad. I love Ghost Squad. Ghost Squad is awesome, dude. Yeah, it's with like the panda on the back. <laughs> the panda on the back. That's what made, once you showed me that. That's why I bought that game, dude. It needs to. It need, I, w I was hoping. Actually, I was hoping it would get ported to uh, the freaking uh, PS2 uh, or something like that, but it never did. So mm -hmm. I was like, man. But um, it's yeah. actually good on the Wii. Yeah, it's good on the yeah, Wii. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. A lot you, of those real shooters better. On the if Wii. you see it at Goodwill, pick it up. Yep.